Okay, David, I've got your system uh, working now to my satisfaction. I hope it will be to yours. I'm going to make a little short demo video here to show you uh, how it's all working. This is your retract controller. Uh, this is the battery I use to power the two gear motors. I'm only using the two mains. I've got the uh, nose wheel, tail wheel channel cut off right now just to save uh, room and so forth. Um, this is the gear door servo and uh, you'll see here in a minute that it is working correctly. This is your steering controller. Uh, this is the receiver. This is the new steering controller uh, module. I had to rebuild yours. I used the same uh, cables that had your tags on it, but um, I rebuilt the board completely because I just didn't have room for this uh, regulator and for these associated uh, capacitors. One other thing I wanted to show you here, I've got my I've got a voltage regulator here that is powering my receiver and I wanted to show you if I can get these leads on here with one hand. I wanted to show you that we're working on 6.3 volts. I'm going to remove the probes now so you'll see. Um, but that's, that's what's powering the whole system, powering the receiver, powering the steering controller, and powering the gear door controller. Uh, this is my transmitter, so I'm going to, right now we are in the gear up position, the stowed position. You'll see that the light is on and that the uh, steering controller servo is in the tucked position. And you'll see that moving the rudder stick has no effect on the steering control, uh, the steering servo. So I'm going to flip the gear channel on my transmitter now. And the first thing you'll see is that the gear door servo will open. The motors will start coming down and the steering servo has uh, gone back to the normal position. As soon as the gear get down, you'll see the gear door servo will close back again. Landing lights will come on, <clears throat> and now you've got control of <clears throat> the nose wheel uh, servo for steering the plane on the ground. Um, we will uh, reverse that now. We're going to flip the gear back again. You'll see the gear door servo opens again. The, the steering servo tucks, and now your gear are coming up. They will get into the stowed position. Your gear door servo will close back over them. And now your steering control servo is um, inactive again. It's got the, got the steering, uh, the nose wheel rotated and stowed uh, in position. So we'll do that one more time. Give it gear down. The gear door servo opens. The gear start down and the... Um, steering control servo returns to the center position as soon as your gear get down you'll see the gear door servo will close landing lights come on and now you've got control of your nose wheel again give it gear up it stows gear come back up you notice your landing light I mean your light on your steering controller lets you know that the steering controller is in the stowed position and your landing lights gear door oh, uh, closes back and your landing lights go off so <clears throat> and I've got uh, I've got the system polished up to where I don't think there's any combination of things you can mistakenly do that will uh, cause it to get into some situation or some position that would uh, cause it to booger anything up I think I've put enough protections in the code now to where if it if it doesn't see what it's expected to see then it in it defaults to do nothing <clears throat> rather than uh, going into some mode that will cause you a problem so I'm gonna upload this to uh, YouTube and send you the link so you can look at it and uh, and mull it over and then uh, unless you see something you don't like or think shouldn't be doing what it's doing, I will get this uh, packaged up to you and hopefully out tomorrow in tomorrow's mail. Thanks, David.